Hello and welcome to today's video where we will be discussing Europe's top 10 dictators. When we think of dictators, it's easy to associate them with African leaders and countries in the global south. However, Europe has had its fair share of dictators and autocrats throughout history. From Mussolini to Hitler, from Stalin to Ceausescu, Europe has produced some of the world's most infamous and influential leaders. In this video, we will be exploring the lives and legacies of Europe's top 10 dictators. We will look at how they came to power, with some still in power, the policies they implemented, and their impact on Europe and the world. By looking at these leaders, we can gain a deeper understanding of the political and social forces that have shaped Europe over the past century and learn from the lessons of the past. So, if you're interested in learning more about European history and the dark side of leadership, then this video is for you. Sit back, relax, and let's dive into the world of Europe's top 10 dictators. Starting us off at number 10, we have Alexander Lukashenko of Belarus. Alexander Lukashenko was elected as the first president of Belarus in 1994 and has been in power ever since. He is known for his authoritarian rule and his suppression of opposition and independent media. Lukashenko's rule has been marked by widespread human rights abuses, including the use of violence against protesters and political opponents. In recent years, he has faced growing international criticism for his handling of opposition figures and journalists. Alexander Lukashenko is a controversial figure in modern-day politics, with his rule characterized by authoritarianism and human rights abuses. Despite widespread international condemnation, he has remained in power for over two decades and continues to be a major player in the political landscape of Belarus. Coming in at number 9, we have Antonio de Oliveira Salazar of Portugal. Antonio de Oliveira Salazar rose to power as the Prime Minister of Portugal in 1932 and ruled until his health declined in 1968. He is known for his authoritarian rule and his establishment of the Estado Novo regime in Portugal. Salazar's regime was marked by political repression, censorship, and the suppression of regional cultures. Despite its economic stability, the Estado Novo was widely criticized for its human rights abuses and its lack of political freedom. All in all, Antonio de Oliveira Salazar is a significant figure in Portuguese history, with his rule shaping the political and cultural landscape of the country for over three decades. Despite his controversial legacy, his impact on Portugal continues to be felt today. At number 8, we have Slobodan Milosevic. Slobodan Milosevic rose to power as the president of Serbia in 1989 and later became the president of the Federal Republic of Yugoslavia. He is known for his role in the Yugoslav Wars of the 1990s and his efforts to increase Serbian influence in the region. Milosevic's presidency was marked by widespread human rights abuses, including ethnic cleansing and war crimes committed during the Yugoslav Wars. He faced international condemnation and was eventually charged with crimes against humanity by the International Criminal Tribunal. Conclusion, Slobodan Milosevic is a controversial figure in modern European history, with his presidency marked by human rights abuses and conflict. Despite his efforts to increase Serbian power, his legacy is defined by his role in the Yugoslav wars and his indictment for war crimes. At number 7, we have Ion Antonescu. Ion Antonescu was born in June 1882 in Slatina, Romania. He was educated at the military school in Bucharest and went on to serve in the Romanian army, eventually reaching the rank of general. In 1940, Antonescu was appointed as prime minister of Romania and assumed dictatorial powers. He was a staunch supporter of the Axis powers and Romania became a German ally during World War II. Under Antonescu's leadership, Romania became involved in the Holocaust, with the Romanian army and gendarmerie participating in the mass murder of Jews and Romani people in Romania and the territories it occupied during the war. Antonescu also implemented anti-Semitic laws and policies, which resulted in the persecution and extermination of thousands of Jews and Romani people. Despite his alliance with Germany, Antonescu eventually fell out of favor with the Nazi regime and was arrested by the Germans in August 1944. He was tried and executed for war crimes in June 1946. Antonescu remains a controversial figure in Romanian history, with some regarding him as a nationalist hero who fought to protect Romania's interests, while others view him as a war criminal responsible for the deaths of thousands of innocent people. In conclusion, Ion Antonescu was a complex and controversial figure whose legacy continues to divide opinions in Romania. As we remember his life and legacy, it is important to acknowledge the atrocities committed under his leadership and to continue to educate ourselves about this dark chapter in Romanian and world history.
Coming in at number 6 we have Francisco Franco who was a Spanish politician and general who served as the head of state of Spain from 1939 until his death in 1975. Francisco Franco was born in December 1892 in Ferrol, Spain. He was educated at the Spanish Military Academy and went on to serve in the Spanish Army, eventually rising to the rank of general. In 1936, Franco was appointed as the commander of the Nationalist Forces in the Spanish Civil War. Over the next three years, he fought against the Republican government and was successful in overthrowing it in 1939. After the end of the Spanish Civil War, Franco established a dictatorship and ruled Spain as the head of state for 36 years. During his rule, Franco implemented authoritarian policies and suppressed political opposition, resulting in widespread human rights abuses, including the imprisonment and execution of political opponents. Franco's regime also implemented strict social and cultural policies, including censorship and the repression of regional cultures and languages. Despite these restrictions, Franco's rule did bring stability and economic growth to Spain after years of political turmoil and civil war. In 1975, Franco died and was succeeded by King Juan Carlos I, who began the process of transitioning Spain to a democratic government. Franco remains a controversial figure in Spanish history, with some regarding him as a patriot who saved Spain from communism and brought stability to the country, while others view him as a dictator responsible for human rights abuses and the suppression of freedom. And our number 5 spot goes to Nicolae Ceausescu of Romania, the second Romanian dictator on our list actually. So, Nicolae Ceausescu was born in 1918 in Scornicesti, Romania. He was raised in a working-class family and was the son of a communist activist. Ceausescu joined the Communist Party as a young man and quickly rose through the ranks, eventually becoming the leader of Romania in 1965. Ceausescu's rule was characterized by authoritarianism, censorship, and a cult of personality. He was known for his strict control over the media, which he used to promote his image and control the narrative of the country. He also introduced a series of economic reforms that aimed to modernize Romania's economy but ultimately led to widespread poverty and corruption. Ceausescu's regime was known for its brutal repression of political opposition and human rights abuses. Political prisoners were subjected to harsh conditions in Romania's prisons, and many were subjected to torture and abuse. Ceausescu also imposed a strict birth control policy, which was aimed at reducing the population growth rate but ultimately led to a population decline. In December 1989, a popular uprising against Ceausescu's regime broke out, and the dictator was forced to flee the capital, Bucharest. He was captured by the Romanian military and put on trial for crimes against the state. Ceausescu was found guilty and executed by firing squad on December 25, 1989. Ceausescu's rule lasted for over two decades and had a profound impact on the country's history and its people. Although Ceausescu's rule was characterized by authoritarianism and human rights abuses, his legacy is also remembered for the role he played in Romania's transition to democracy after the fall of the communist regime. At number 4 we have Vladimir Putin, the current president of the Russian Federation. Putin has been in power for over two decades and has had a significant impact on Russian politics and the world stage. Vladimir Putin was born in Leningrad, now known as St. Petersburg, in 1952. He grew up in a communal apartment and joined the KGB, the Soviet Union's intelligence agency, after graduation. Putin rose through the ranks and eventually became the head of the Federal Security Service, the successor to the KGB. In 1999, Putin became the Prime Minister of Russia and was appointed as acting president after the resignation of Boris Yeltsin. He was later elected to the presidency in his own right in 2000 and has been re-elected several times since then. Putin is known for his conservative and authoritarian approach to politics. He has been described as a strongman leader who is willing to use force to achieve his goals and protect the interests of Russia. Putin is also known for his assertiveness on the world stage, and his actions have often been described as aggressive and confrontational. Putin has implemented several reforms aimed at modernizing Russia's economy and strengthening its position as a major economic power. He has also taken a hard line on political opposition, suppressing dissent and cracking down on independent media. Putin's policies have been criticized by some as being anti-democratic, but he continues to enjoy broad support among the Russian people. Vladimir Putin's legacy is a subject of intense debate and speculation. While some view him as a visionary leader who has restored Russia to its former glory, others view him as a dictator who has stifled political opposition and threatened the democratic norms of the country. 
Regardless of one's political views, there is no denying the impact that Putin has had on Russia and the world. Now we getting into the top three OGs of European dictatorship. Coming in at number three, we have Benito Mussolini, the former prime minister of Italy and the founder of Italian fascism. Mussolini's rule lasted for over two decades and had a profound impact on Italy and the world. Benito Mussolini was born in 1883 in the province of Forli, Italy. He was raised in a socialist family and was a teacher and journalist before entering politics. Mussolini was a charismatic speaker and was known for his fiery rhetoric, which helped him gain support among the Italian people. In 1922, Mussolini and his blackshirt militia staged a march on Rome, which led to his appointment as prime minister. He quickly consolidated his power, suppressing opposition and establishing a one-party state. Under Mussolini's rule, Italy became a fascist dictatorship, with the prime minister at the center of a cult of personality. Mussolini's economic policies were aimed at modernizing Italy and making it a major industrial power. He also pursued a policy of autarky, which aimed to make Italy self-sufficient in terms of food and other resources. However, Mussolini's policies were often poorly implemented, and the Italian economy struggled throughout his rule. Mussolini's foreign policy was marked by aggressive expansionism. He invaded Ethiopia in 1935, which marked Italy's entry into the Second Italo-Ethiopian War. He also formed an alliance with Nazi Germany, and Italy entered World War II on the side of the Axis powers. Mussolini's rule came to an end in 1943, when the Allies invaded Italy and he was arrested. He was later freed by German commandos and established a puppet government in northern Italy. However, the Italian resistance movement continued to gain strength, and Mussolini was captured and executed by Italian partisans in April 1945. All in all, Benito Mussolini's legacy is a complex and controversial one. While he is remembered for his role in establishing a totalitarian state in Italy, he is also credited with modernizing the country's infrastructure and improving its economy. However, Mussolini's legacy is tarnished by his aggressive expansionism, human rights abuses, and his alliance with Nazi Germany. At number two we have Joseph Stalin, the former leader of the Soviet Union. Stalin's rule lasted for over three decades and had a profound impact on the Soviet Union and the world. Joseph Stalin was born in 1878 in Georgia, which was then part of the Russian Empire. He was raised in poverty and joined the Bolshevik Party as a young man. Stalin rose through the ranks of the party and became one of the key leaders of the Soviet Union after the October Revolution. After the death of Lenin in 1924, Stalin emerged as the dominant figure in the Soviet government. He purged his political rivals, suppressing opposition and consolidating his power. Stalin became the absolute ruler of the Soviet Union, with the power to make all major decisions for the country. Stalin implemented a series of economic policies aimed at modernizing the Soviet economy and making it a major industrial power. He launched a series of five-year plans that focused on heavy industry, such as coal and steel production. Stalin's policies were successful in making the Soviet Union an industrial power, but they came at a great cost in terms of human suffering and oppression. Stalin's foreign policy was marked by the pursuit of Soviet interests, both domestically and internationally. He signed a non-aggression pact with Nazi Germany, but broke it in 1941 when Hitler invaded the Soviet Union. Stalin then formed an alliance with the Allies, and the Soviet Union played a key role in defeating Nazi Germany in World War II. Stalin's rule was characterized by widespread purges, repression, and terror. Millions of people were arrested, imprisoned, and executed for their perceived opposition to Stalin's regime. Millions more were sent to work camps, where they were subjected to harsh conditions and brutal treatment. And the number one spot goes to Adolf Hitler, the former leader of Nazi Germany. Hitler's rule lasted for just over a decade and had a profound impact on Germany and the world. Adolf Hitler was born in Austria in 1889. He was raised in poverty and moved to Germany as a young man. Hitler became involved in politics and joined the German Workers' Party, which later became the Nazi Party. Hitler rose to power in Germany, using his charisma and powerful speeches to gain support among the German people. In 1933, Hitler was appointed Chancellor of Germany and he quickly consolidated his power. He became the absolute ruler of Germany, suppressing opposition and establishing a one-party state. Hitler's rule was marked by a cult of personality, with the German people being told that he was their savior and the only hope for a better future. 
Hitler's economic policies were aimed at modernizing Germany and making it a major industrial power. He launched a series of programs that aimed to increase employment and improve the economy. Hitler's policies were successful in the short term, but they were unsustainable in the long run and ultimately contributed to Germany's defeat in World War II. Hitler's foreign policy was marked by aggressive expansionism. He sought to create a greater Germany, which would include all German-speaking peoples and territories. He also sought to establish Germany as the dominant power in Europe, and he pursued this goal through a series of invasions and annexations. Hitler's legacy is largely defined by the Holocaust, the systematic extermination of six million Jews and millions of others deemed undesirable by the Nazi regime. The Holocaust is widely considered one of the worst atrocities in human history, and Hitler is widely regarded as one of the most evil figures of the 20th century. All in all, Adolf Hitler's legacy is a complex and controversial one. While he is remembered for his role in modernizing Germany's economy and infrastructure, he is also remembered for his aggressive expansionism, human rights abuses, and the Holocaust. Hitler's legacy serves as a reminder of the dangers of extremism and the importance of protecting human rights and democracy. In conclusion, the history of Europe is marked by the rule of many dictators, some of whom we have discussed today. From Mussolini to Hitler, from Stalin to Ceausescu, the lives and legacies of these leaders continue to shape our understanding of European history. While some of these leaders are remembered for their achievements and contributions, others are remembered for their repression, brutality, and cruelty. It is important to remember that these leaders were not just historical figures, but also symbols of the dangers of extremism, autocracy, and oppression. Their legacies serve as a reminder of the importance of protecting human rights and democratic values, and of the need to remain vigilant against any attempts to undermine these values. We hope you enjoy today's video. If you found this informative, please like and subscribe to our channel for more content on history, politics, and top 10 facts. Thank you for watching. Top 10 PDA